Let's go. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! See you soon! Yeah! Yeah! Are you saving the best for last? What are you doing back there? Yeah! I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Mr. Farland! Would you like me to slow down? Come on, should I wait for you to catch up? Come on! Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind? Hop on up, Mr. Marston. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzer food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's Relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. 
I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers in Armadillo spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. We ain't the government. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. I wish I was dead. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. He's on to us. Get after him. Yeah. Come. Walt's as bad as you say he is. Why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality, and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. How long is easy money for easy work? Jola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walt's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Hold up a minute and find a spot for our horses. Come on, easy up now. Looks like we got company, boys. <laughs> Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. Take cover behind that wagon to your right. Oh, my good God. That fool behind the rock is yours, Marston. You boys just ain't that tough. I got you, boy. 
Make a move for that boulder. sure we seen the last of them. You ain't getting away this time. Jesus, well, who's that woman? Wolves inside the house. Take him alive if you can. Walton, your killing days are over. It'll be trial and the rope for you.